hello guys welcome back in this video tutorial we will learn how to use the float button from and design version 5.0 we will see how to add float button how to customize their icon how to add the tooltip when user hovers on that how to change the shape between the circle and the square and how to add a little description under the icon and make the button primary so it looks in bluish color and also we'll see how we can create a menu when user click on the float button so let's get started I have an empty react.js project that is using the latest version of and design 5.0 at the time of creating this video and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import the float button from and design and start using it so it will be float button and if we save it it has shown the default float button right so this is the default icon we can change that if needed so let's copy this one and place another and where we can see the icon is something else we can import the icons uh, from uh, and design so we can say maybe we can say message field and here we can say message field save it here you go it has shown the message field so right now it is showing uh, the both float button but right now they are overlapping we can change his style a little bit and to make them appear on different places so we can say it's right it may, is maybe 80 pixels as you go so this is the default one and here we have uh, changed the icon right and we can change its shape from uh, circle to the square as well so let's copy this one and here we can say its shape is either the circle or the square so let's try the square one here you go and we can change its style to 160 right and also we can use a type of the button uh, like the primary or the default one and we can set from the default or the primary if we make it primary it will convert it to a blue color so let's change the location to something we maybe we can say its bottom is maybe 80 right and also the right is 80 there you go or maybe we can change it to 100 okay looks good right so we can change its position to uh, anywhere where uh, we want and also we can uh, show a little uh, we can say a little description here or maybe we can say what this icon mean so for that we can say the description is maybe we can say sms here you go it has shown the sms right and also we can show uh, on hovering uh, uh, we can show our tooltip as well so we can add that tooltip and here we can say maybe chat and now if i hover on uh, the second one here you go and it will show our tooltip right and also we can show these float buttons in a group like when i click on that uh, they open up uh, like a menu let's copy this one and place it here maybe we change the right to 220 here you go and change this type to circle and uh, we can instead of the float button we can say this is a float group and inside that we will be adding few more uh, float buttons so maybe we can copy this one and add them here maybe two button and here instead of a message field we can say plus maybe plus outlined and for the group we can say plus outlined in the menu button we can say what we need to uh, add either we maybe we can say the user add outlined or maybe the file add outlined right and under the group the first button we can say user add outlined and here we can say file add outlined right and we can meet the style because it will be triggered when uh, when we click on this one and we can uh, add the trigger as well uh, so when it should uh, trigger based on the click or the hover so let's try for the click and if i save it here you go it has added the plus 
icon and how if you click on that it will uh, show a menu right so two options for adding a user or adding a file we can show the tooltip here as well so here we can see in the tooltip we can see this is the add user and in the tooltip of the second one we can say this is the add file and if i save it and here you go add user and this is the add file and of course we can uh, track on the click of these icons as well so that's the same as uh, we did on the normal buttons so that will be the on click and here we can do anything uh, needed based on uh, this button click right and also for the group one uh, we can add the on click as well as on the on open change so that will be triggered when uh, this menu is opened or this menu is closed right so this open will be either true or false based on that right so using this approach you can add float button anywhere on on your ui and on click of that you can perform any action or on click of the float button we can uh, show a menu we can select any option from there and act accordingly so this was the new component introduced in and design 5.0 but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you